There are some misconceptions that I'd like to clear up since this is a subject that's near and dear to me. My husband served over 30 years in the Air Force and we always used our VA loan to purchase our homes. Fun fact, way back in 1998 is when we bought our first house and we got an excellent interest rate for the time. Are you ready? Guess what it was? 7%, yes people, 7%. We had great credit and at the time, it was a great rate. We were so happy and lucky to get it. First misconception is a low appraisal. Some sellers think that if they accept a buyer who has a VA loan, that there will be an issue with the appraisal. That VA appraisals are extremely strict and onerous. The appraiser is using the same comparable properties as a non-VA appraiser would use. So the value should come in without any issues. Second, VA loans take too long to close and that's simply not true. They actually can take less than 30 days. The only thing regarding the VA loan is that you cannot rush a VA appraiser like you can rush a regular appraisal. In my 21 years of selling real estate and primarily dealing with the military community, I've really had issues with a house that is in great condition coming up less than the sales price. VA loans close in 30 days or less just like most loans. Who the borrower is using to obtain their loan can can make or break this process. This is why it is important for the listing agent to contact the loan officer and ask the very important questions I mentioned in my previous video. Local lenders are what I call the gold standard, especially when it comes to dealing with financing. Is a VA appraisal a home inspection? No, it is not a home inspection, but it is looking for the minimum property requirement. The property does have to meet those MRPs and be safe, sound, and sanitary, which is what most people want, right? If there are obvious defects like plumbing leaks, missing shingles, or mold, then that will be notated on the appraisal as a lender required repair. Please keep in mind that there is no substitute for a home inspection done by a licensed home inspector. Myth number four, no down payment must mean that the borrower has had bad credit. Not true. The borrower must have a minimum credit score just like all traditional loans. The fact that they don't need to put money down is simply part of the benefit to the service member. Traditionally the interest rates are more favorable than a traditional loan and therefore people who have a down payment may opt to just go and use their VA loan instead of going with a conventional loan. For more questions regarding this and more, feel free to contact me, Donna Chong with the Fox Home Scene.